if you're looking for a new construction home under 400000 that backs up to a lake and within 30 minutes of the beach, then this is probably going to be the home for you. So let's go ahead and get this home tour started. going on everybody I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving welcome to Palm Bay we have finally made it over here where I'm actually gonna bless you guys and show you guys where I think is probably the best bang for your buck most affordable new construction home in the entire state of Florida what I have here is a four bedroom two bath home 1800 square feet mid 300s that backs up to a lake we've even got some five bedroom homes that are under 400,000 and then these are five bedroom, two, uh, two story homes that have block and concrete construction all the way to the top. So really good builder, really nice floor plans, really good, nice included features. And we're backing up to a lake. As far as location wise, we're about 30 minutes away from the Melbourne International Airport, 30 minutes away from the beach, right? 15 to 20 minutes away from all your major shopping. I'm talking Macy's, Publix, Target. The, actually, you're about 20 minutes away from the Melbourne Square shopping mall where there's the Macy's and the Dillard's and all the stuff that you actually really need. And I actually personally went over there and I must say, I actually kind of like that mall over there. It reminded me of the Mall of Millennia for those of you guys that are familiar with the Orlando area. So I honestly think that this is a really good area for a lot of people that aren't looking to spend too much on a home, especially if you don't really care to be so close to Disney. However, you are about, about, let's say, under two hours, you know, you can get to Disney. But if you don't really care to be so close to Disney, you prefer to be closer to the beach, then this might be a good opportunity for you. The beach over here as well, too. I was out at the beach as well, too, checking out the area, and they were doing a lot of surfing out there. So if you like beaches that have a lot of waves, then you're going to love the beaches over here. So you're also about three hours away from South Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Miami area, right? And just about an hour away from the heart of Orlando, actually. So. Honestly, area is really good. You're close to an airport as well. So I honestly have no problems recommending this area over here. So honestly, even for myself, I would even consider living over here personally. That's the honest truth. So I really like it over here. I think you guys might like it too. I'm gonna to show you guys the model that they have here, which is the four bedroom, two bath, single story home. However, they do have two story floor plans that have five bedrooms that are all under 400,000. Some of them even back up to a lake. They even have some homes that are as low as 315-ish, right? With the same four bedroom, two bath home. So I honestly think this is probably gonna be one of the best deals for a lot of families moving from up north or even from California side, even Chicago, anyone moving from those areas that are looking to be close by to the beach. If you like hiking, surfing, um, outdoor activities, you know, anything like that, like you're gonna like this area over here. So anyways, let's go ahead and meet at the front of the home and we'll go ahead and get this tour started. But, but oh, before we do though, don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, remember, if you're thinking about purchasing this home or any other home in Central Florida, maybe you're thinking about moving your family down, we would love to advise you guys on how to basically go about that process. So you can find our contact information down below. Feel free to reach out at any point in time. But without further ado, let's go ahead and, and take a tour of this home. So here we are at the model. So the homes come standard with brick paved driveway, which I absolutely love. Like I was saying, block and concrete and stucco construction. This is the single story, four bedroom, two bath home, right? This is about 1826, 1828 square feet. They do have other floor plans as, as well, up to a five bedroom, three bath home. That's two story, that's block and concrete stucco construction all the way to the top. I keep stressing that because there's very few builders that actually build with block and concrete construction all the way to the top. And DR Horton is one of those builders. So I absolutely love the fact that they do that over here as did well as all their other neighborhoods. But yeah, this is a very popular floor plan that they build across Central Florida and many price points. Over here in Palm Bay, we're looking at the low 300s. And for the mid 300s, you can get one that backs up to a lake. So now as soon as we enter in the foyer here, you can see all the way down to the back, which gives it a nice 
feeling of, you know, length. As soon as you come in, you actually have a coat closet, which I know a lot of you New Yorkers and Northerners always complain about how Florida homes don't have a coat closet when you come in. Well, we do in this model here. You might not use it because it's Florida. You might not need to have a coat, but you know what? A raincoat. Keep your raincoats and umbrellas. Trust me, you'll need it. You could even probably put a little bench right here that makes it easy for you to go in and out. But over in this section here, nice wide hallway here, mini hallway here for these two bedrooms. We've got a soccer room over here. So shout out to the World Cup going on right now. If you guys are a World Cup uh, fans, let me know. I'm not a huge fan, but I do, I do like me watching some soccer. I've been watching a lot of it lately. I'm more of a basketball person, but we've got a, it's not a walk-in closet, but it's, but it's a, it looks like about, I wanna say like four feet wide, right? But it does have a door for the closet here, as opposed to like a bifold. Ceilings here, we're looking at about like nine feet ceilings here, which gives it really good volume in my opinion. So rooms are pretty decent size, nothing crazy, but for the size and the functionality is great. So first secondary bathroom over here, good space behind it, raised vanity here. Formica is gonna be standard in the bathrooms. However, you will get granite or quartz in your kitchen. This does have the fiberglass vical tub, right? And one of the good things is, as you kind of see this model home here, is kind of how you're gonna get the homes, right? So here we have the basketball themed room, right? This is more, more my sport, but yeah, slam dunk. Pretty similar size room to the other bedroom over there. And then this one is in the front of the home. So this one gets two windows and then similar size closet. So I will say this, yeah, the closets are, I guess a little bit smaller uh, compared to some other models, but honestly, this is very good for anyone that has, you know, smaller kids, even teenagers, or you're downsizing and you just need to use this as guest rooms. So, but yeah, these two bedrooms here share this bathroom. And then as we make our way down here, there's a nice spacious, like a separate foyer here. It's not, it's not really the foyer because the foyer is really there, but it's just a nice little opening here. It exists a nice space. Basically we have the garage over here. We won't go there because that's the sales office. Before we go, we have some storage over here, some more storage. We've got your laundry room over here that has pretty decent size. And yeah, you can even make this like a nice little doggy room if you want, maybe cut out half the door here, make that a good space. And then the third bedroom that's over in the corner over here, you can probably use this as an office space. And so there's the third bedroom that you can basically use as an office space as you'd like. Now let's continue on. Actually, I think I missed this, but we've got your air handler over here, right? You can do some storage like you're doing there. But yeah, now let's move on to the main attraction of the home your kitchen and living room. So, so here's your kitchen. This is kind of how most of the homes are gonna come. So we're gonna have your shaker style white cabinets, right? Granite countertops. Let me show you this pantry that actually has a really good size, actually, in my opinion. So walk-in pantry, pretty decent size and nice open concept over here. So um, we've got a nice little cabinets and counter space over here. Formal dining, right? Opens up to the kitchen here. So this is a nice cozy floor plan in my opinion. Very good for anyone that's looking for a starter home or they're looking to downsize. Very good option. And check this out. If you get one that backs up to the lake, you can have a nice little lake view over here while you're, you know, entertaining or enjoying your, I guess, evening news or who knows, maybe you're watching YouTube videos of Marlon on the TV. So perfect spot for you guys to entertain yourself but yeah let's go check out the primary suite here and then we'll go into the backyard so here is your primary pretty decent size right it's more than enough to get whatever you need to have fit here right we can fit a nice little sit a uh, couch here for you to sit down on you know bedside table this looks like a king size and a little dresser right so you could definitely fit whatever you kind of need here. And then, of course, can't forget it, right? If you get the lake view, imagine waking up to that, guys, right? Right, you just wake up in the morning, just do your morning stretch, and I just almost fell over. Yeah, and just uh, enjoy that view. So very nice, 
and check out your primary bathroom here. Dual sinks, raised vanity height. And then we've got a walk-in shower. Not a walk-in, well it is a walk-in, but with the sliding uh, uh, door here and the fiberglass enclosure. Now if you don't like some of these finishes, the cabinets are pretty good, right? You can easily just replace this for mica with your own countertop, maybe some quartz, maybe change out the sinks, right? Yourself, it's very affordable, believe it or not. Got a closet over here, right? And I know what you're saying, Marlon, that's a terrible closet. Wow, that's where the deal breaker. This is not your only closet. This is actually just a linen closet. This is the actual closet over here, right? This is, so I guess this is her closet. But yeah, pretty decent size in my opinion. 1826 square feet is this actual home here. We've got your water closet over here. So, but yeah, this is a very good deal in my opinion in this area here. So, but yeah, like Cassie was saying though, we're pretty good area here. Within 30 minutes, you can get to almost anything that you need to get to. Airports, uh, shopping, the beach, um, Costco, Sam's Club, right? All of that stuff. I actually went myself to the Melbourne Square Mall and, and I actually ended up doing some shopping over there, but it's really nice over there. I love it. But here is your backyard. I'll show you guys a good glimpse of it. So really decent yard space over here. So and check this out. They even have the homes already set up for shutters because that's a, that, that's a thing over here when you're by the coastline. So love the fact that they're already having the homes prepped, prepared for all of that. I'm actually looking at all the neighbors' homes as well too, and I see that already. So. The homes are already basically set for that. The windows are up to code to re resist. I think it's like over all close to like 160 mile an hour wind. So honestly, it's a pretty decent area. We're about 19 feet above sea level over here in Palm Bay. Uh, for comparison, Claremont, where I'm from, is about 300 feet above sea level. So fun fact for you guys, in case you didn't know. But, but yeah, that's just what it is when you're around the coastline here. But yeah, very good opportunity in my opinion right within an hour or so you can get into Orlando three hours to Miami side but very up and coming area here I compare this kind of to like the Ocala side so if you are looking for like the Ocala pricing but you maybe don't want to go in the middle of Florida over there you want to be more closer to the beach area this is a very good opportunity in my opinion so but yeah but that's why I'm here this might actually conclude I guess the most affordable home series tour but Make sure you guys follow Cassian's YouTube channel. Make sure you follow Brandon's YouTube channel. Make sure you follow the Prasad's group YouTube channel. We're gonna continue the affordable home series over there. So if you're looking for homes in the $300,000 price range, make sure you subscribe to their channels. So that way you guys can get those homes. I myself am gonna go back to some of the other builders that you guys have known to uh, watch. You know what I'm saying? Like the Taylor Morrison's, your Toll Brothers and stuff like that. So. I can't wait to get back to those, but I honestly think that this is a very good opportunity here. Remember, they have other floor plans, other sizes, other opportunities. If you guys are thinking about any of those or you just wanna have some consultation, reach out to my team and I, we would love to help you guys. Our contact information is down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for following, subscribing. We got a new, a lot of subscribers. As a matter of fact, I think we just hit 15,000 subs um, within the last couple of weeks. So thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing to these videos, all the new people, welcome you guys can find a lot of value over here on this channel but remember the best value you're going to find is working with my team and i so if you don't have a realtor already and you need some help and guidance in finding an area or even just moving to the area because there's a lot of work moving parts that goes along with this so we would love to help you guys that's what we're here for so even if it's right now you want to make the move or it's a year or two years from now just reach out to us we'll help you guys come up with a game plan but yeah once again, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a blessed day. Peace. So to tell you a little bit more about the area, over here in this neighborhood here, we're about 15 to 20 minutes away from the major shopping areas. I'm talking Walmart, Publix, Target. Uh, there's your gas stations like your Wawa, Shell gas stations, stuff like that. Um, I actually went over to the Melbourne Square shopping plaza where the Macy's uh, is. It is very nice over there. I honestly think that it reminds me of the Mall of Belenia. So very nice atmosphere over there. I loved it. Um, I even checked out the beach. The beach is about 35 minutes away from here. Very nice area as well too. If you like Costco and Sam's Club, they've got those available here as well too. Um, what else? There's the Brevard Zoo. There's the Patrick Space Force Base. 
that's around here as well. That's what's been kind of fueling a lot of the development around this area here. So uh, what else here? Basically, if you like paddle boarding, bike riding, eco tours, golfing, kayaking, especially surfing, all the surfing, kite surfing, wind surfing, I don't even know what all those are. I just know regular surfing. Uh, but yeah, if you like scuba diving and snorkeling, all those stuff, activities are basically around this area for you to do. So if that's your type of lifestyle, right? If you're moving from somewhere out of the country or the state and you're looking for that type of lifestyle, then honestly, this is a really good area because you're really in that mid 300s, even lower 300s if you don't wanna back up to the lake, right? For brand new construction, block and concrete home. So I think this is probably one of the best values as of right now in Florida. So I would love to know what you guys think. We've been around, we've been to Ocala, we've been to you know Bushnell, Sumterville area. I've been to Citrus County. I've been all over, right? I'll leave a link to the playlist of all the most affordable homes that we've basically been touring. But um, I gotta say, I think this is probably the better one. So this neighborhood that I'm actually in here right now, the HOA is actually only $67 a month. It does come with a pool, a playground. It's a gated community and there's no CDD fee. No CDD fee, so I love that. There's actually a huge master plan area called Emerald Lakes that's coming soon to this area. It's over 1,500 acres of master plan community where they're gonna have like shopping and event centers and, and housing, over 4,000 housing that's coming soon. So they're now cracking ground on that. So you're gonna get in pretty early in my opinion. So that type of development over here. So, but yeah, I think that kind of pretty much concludes majority of what I wanted to mention to you guys. So, but yeah, I honestly think this is a really good opportunity for a lot of you guys, so definitely reach out to my team and I. We would love to basically help you guys move down to this area. And if this is not the area for you, then we would love to help find that area that is gonna be the right fit for you guys. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, but I guess until the next one, hope you have a blessed day. Peace.